Hey guys, it's Miss Reed. So today in ELA, we're going to be focusing on understanding scientific text. Um, this is a presentation that you will see when you open up your um, Google Classroom. You'll see all these things. So the first step is to open the Ready New York materials. That should look like this. This is the first page with understanding scientific text. You're going to open this video, which you already did. Um, and following along with the materials. Then you're going to complete the chart in the Google Classroom, um, I'm sorry, in the Google Doc about the cartoon. So this is what you'll be doing about the cartoon. It matches exactly, sorry, I've got a lot of stuff going on. It matches exactly what you see right here in, in the student materials. I just replicated it on the Google Docs to make it easier for you guys. Um, after you do that, you're going to read this text, A Powerful Rock, about coal. And you are going to complete this chart, which is also replicated on your Google Doc. So it looks just like this. Um, if you want to look back in the text to make it easier for yourself, by all means, please do that. All right. So what's a scientific text? Scientific text. Tells what happens during a set of events in nature, explains how the event happened, explains why it happened, helps you understand the world that you live in. It often includes visual diagrams, charts, and graphs. And they usually use a combination of cause and effect structure and sequencing. So with scientific text, it's a little bit different from a technical text, which we've been talking about. So a technical text, they're trying to explain to you a procedure to follow something that you need to do in the order. Whereas a scientific text is trying to explain to you something that has happened in nature, um, the order in which it happened, but also what caused something to happen. So when we're doing text structure for a scientific text, we're going to be um, paying close attention to cause and effect and also sequencing because it's going to be a combination of both. So remember, cause and effect um, explains events that result in other things happening. So perfect example with science, right? So if you're explaining, like, why did the Ice Age happen, there would be a cause and there would be an effect, right? Um, and this is another example, an article about the effects of an earthquake. That would be a scientific text. Sequencing is explaining events in the order um, they have been or a step in, in a process. So it's, again, it's going to be a combination of these things when you read a scientific text. So how do you tackle a scientific text? As you read it, stop and ask yourself, what happened? What is it they're talking about? What happened? Why did it happen? And how? In what way did it happen? So remember why, for what reason? And how means in what way. So why? That's a good thing right on here. So for what reason? And how, for in what way? So that's the difference between those questions. So what actually happened? What is the reason why it happened? And in what way did it happen? How did it happen? So when you connect these causes and effects of the natural event, you can better understand what you read. It makes sense why those certain events happen. So you're going to look at the cartoon. on page 52 on the first page of your text today. Make sure you guys are also reading through um, the text, like actually reading whatever um, is written on the page. It's all important information. I'm trying to um, put a lot of that in my presentation that I, that I make for you so that it looks nice and cute, but um, it's also important that you read it. So it says, look at the cartoon below. Think about what events are happening and also think about how and why they are happening. So you can see this, it says event one. So this is a perfect example of sequencing, right? So it's saying one, two, three, the order in which things happen. This is two million years ago, which is crazy. And this is today. So we can see we're moving through a sequence in time and order of events that they happen. So in the first, it says a fish dies and sinks to the ocean bottom. It is buried in the mud, which may harden. Then... Step two, it's not really a step two, but event two. Slowly the fish bones dissolve and are replaced by other minerals. They become a fossil. And the third event, 
the ocean drains away and erosion uncovers the fossil. So again, you're going to stop and ask yourself, what happened? Why did it happen? For what reason? And how? In what way did it happen? So after you've done that, you are going to complete your what happened and how and why about the events that created a fossil. And this is already filled out for you, the how and the why of why a fossil is created. But you're going to fill out the events using what you read in the cartoon about what what are the actual events that created the fossil. It should be pretty easy. And remember, that is replicated. It looks just like this in your Google Doc. All right. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I will see you soon.